Hey guys, what's going on? What is happening? I have one person in here. Thank you, whoever you are. Thank you. Thank you for coming in tonight. Three people? Holy smokes. What's going on, guys? Holy cow. Four or five people? Holy smoke. What in the world? Guys, Alex Allen's here. What's going on? Holy cow. I haven't streamed in a long time. It's been a while. It's been a long time, guys. I haven't played I haven't played a single game probably since my last stream. So I am ready to do some racing, some terrible racing that uh every time I race on stream it's just a complete catastrophe because I'm uh it's just bad. It's just not good. I'll just say that. Miss Toyota 4XT? Is this a new person? I don't know if I've ever seen you in the stream. Eric Valade Valadez? Some some new people. WH, guys, what's going on? How's everyone doing? I feel like Melanie Vitalis? Guys, guys and girls, I don't even I feel like I don't even know some of you. Holy cow, I'm going to have to turn the fan on. It's getting real in here. Holy smokes. Holy cow. What's happening, guys? What, what's going on? Should I get my headphones? Maybe I should get my headphones. I feel like this might be a pretty fun stream tonight. Let me um, turn on the old headphones. Yes, new? Well, thanks for, thanks for joining the stream. Are free? What's going on? Holy smokes. I probably said holy smokes like a thousand times already, but... Uh, that's all right. You know, I don't even know. I don't even know if my game is uh, playing audio through my headphones. It is. That's good. I think you guys should be able to hear the the race cars. JDM Jason, what is what's going on? JDM Jason, do you drive? Do you drive JDM? What do you drive? Do you drive like a Celica or? A Nissan 240SX or something. Eric Valadez, I never seem to catch your streams. LOL, been waiting for a while. Yeah, I don't have like a particular stream schedule or anything like that. I just, um, you know, I try to stick, try to stick to Tuesdays, which today's Tuesday, I believe, right? Yeah, it's Tuesday. Uh, and I try to stick to Sunday. Sundays is a big one, so I don't always do Sunday. But Sunday's like really the only day I have to spend with my family. What do you mean? What do you mean? Are you allowed to join the video game? Do you have Forza Horizon 3? What? Oh, dude, you have a GSF? It's one of my favorite Lexus vehicles. Still have never driven a GSF. Ugh. Still have never driven the GSF. Actually, I've never driven an ISF for that matter either. Let's see if we can race this dude. Ooh, talk about some JDM. Race, uh, Lexus racing a uh, Infinity Coupe here. Oh, he's slow. He's really slow. Oh, until I hit a car head on. Oh my gosh, that's embarrassing. Oh, then he hit one head on. That's all right. It, you know, it all comes around. What goes around comes around. That's a cool car. What is that thing? Your GS is heavy but fun. Yeah, it's a. Oh, I've never heard of Lexus being heavy before. That's weird. Yeah, Lexus are heavy, heavy vehicles. How else do they get them so quiet? How else do they last like forever? They're very, they're like over engineered. They're very, very, they're built very, very sturdy. Very safe too.
guys, thank you so much for joining the stream. Feel free to ask me questions. No one's really, uh, no one's really asking me any questions yet. So, I think you have driven RCF once. Yeah, I have driven the RCF. It's an awesome car. RCF was a lot of fun to drive. Michael Kim, I'm doing well, man. How are you doing? I'm doing really well. Some of the rarest of the rare at this collector's championship. Whatever you do. Since I do have quite a few new people watching in the stream tonight, where are you guys where are you guys coming from? Where, where in the world? Where in the country? What's going on? JDM Jason says, here's a sub for you. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you. Callan, news on the 2021 IS engines? Nothing, man. I think I had that one video on the IS. So, I mean, that was a lot of conjecture. And I'm going to need your guys' help picking a vehicle here. Because I, in order for me to enter this, uh, this tournament, I need to have one of these vehicles. And I think only one of them is American. That's strange. Oh, no, no, no. Take that back. There's a Ford. So we have a Ford and a Shelby. Those are the American ones. But we got a lot of a couple Alphas, a lot of Ferraris, Jaguar, Koenigsegg. Like this is arguably the fastest car in the game, and I don't have that many credits to buy it anyway. So, Dwight, what's going on? Dwight Waller, what's happening, man? Baltimore. I went to Baltimore once. I had some uh, I had some crab cakes in Baltimore. It was phenomenal. Our free here from. Murrieta, California, an hour north of San Diego. Haven't been to San Diego yet. I've been to uh, San Francisco. Been to LA only in the airport when I went to Australia, which this game is based in. So, can you cross play with PC and Xbox? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, maybe because this is an Xbox Live game. It's possible. I just don't know. Yep, I'm playing on PC if you didn't know. Uh, John says, I'm excited for 4th gen. 4th gen IS? Is it 4th gen already? I think it is. It is 4th gen IS coming up. Michael Kim's from Colorado. Oh, that's really close. Holy crap. We're out in Colorado. Uh, Eric Valadez is from San Antonio. Cool, man. I've always wanted to go to San Antonio. Do I know when the 2020 RX will be released? Uh, says Miss Toyota or Miss Toy 4XT. Uh, yeah, next month. Next, it'll be out next month sometime. Uh, John said, I'm just catching up, guys. Uh, can you help me with a Lexus ES deal? Says a Poddle Snicka. I may have butchered that. Totally. I probably totally butchered that name of Pottle Snicka. Uh, I can help you with Lexus ES deals. Yeah. Um, I can answer questions on it. I mean, it's going to be very, very uh, region specific. Uh, but we do. It's a little bit tougher because, yeah, although we deliver vehicles across the country at my dealership, um, most of the time we have our delivery specialist if it is out of state they will drive the vehicle and if it's a lease that is miles and so miles are important important in a lease so you don't want to go over too much on those miles uh but yeah i'll i can put my um my email in there if you want to reach me uh eric also says my parents drive an RX and a GX, not exactly the fastest cars. No, but Lexus doesn't make the fastest cars, not even close. Not even JDM is in Florida. Where are you on the Florida Keys? That's like the favorite place. My wife and I love the Florida Keys. Holy cow. 
Wait, you you have a GSF in the Florida Keys? My mind's being blown right now. Holy smokes. Uh, yeah, GX and RX, they're not quick. I do love the torque of the GX and the RX. I don't, I don't like the... If I had a choice between the RX 350, the RX 450 hybrid, I'll pick the hybrid every single time. Every single time. Uh, where else? Well, there, Baltimore. Yeah, it's a cool place. We talked about that. Marietta, California. We talked about that. Let's see here. Is this a good game? Says Lady Killer 409. I don't know how I feel about your name. It sounds pretty crazy, but um, yeah, it's a good game. I would say it's I would say it's worth the money. It was a fun, it's a fun game. Goodness, this this car is worth eight million credits. I have one million credits. What this game? Games are so funny. Goodness, get me in. Get me in a car. Can I afford any of these cars? Ten million credits for this Ferrari 250 Testarossa. What the f? I can afford one of these cars. I'm doing it. I'm buying the cheapest one. I'm gonna get in last place. But you know, I gotta do it. I gotta do it. Wise guys, I missed you, pal. Cool. I guess I missed you. I guess. I guess I missed you as well. Orange County, California. Yeah, Javier, you probably told me that like ten times, and I still don't remember. That's 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 my memory for you. You should do car meets with your subs. Yeah, you know, I think it'd be cool. I actually have have written that down before in my like my uh, YouTube channel goals and visions and stuff. I have written down like car meets, but I'm not there yet. Maybe if I get to like a hundred thousand subs, I'll start doing car meets. 5,000 people, I and I got to have a Lexus first. Like, that's got to happen. So, that is got to... Boulder, come on. Michael, Kim, Boulder, Colorado, you probably told me that as well. Jesse Fernandez is here. Holy smokes. When is the new Lexus IS exterior design being released? So, the new IS will be out in... T next year, 2020, as a 2021 model. Yep. About a year, a little over a year from now is my guess. It is coming. And I'm really, really excited. Should be based off the Toyota Crown, a little bit bigger than the current IS. Uh, bear, bear, bear. Would definitely love to get in contact about the ES. Would you like, what do you like better in terms uh, of luxury ES or GS? I think the GS is, uh, unless you need all-wheel all wheel drive, and unless, I mean, you need a slightly sportier vehicle, the ES is a better vehicle like 99% of the time for most people. That's what I think about that. Kenny says, will the 2020 RX continue with the two-tone seats? Yes, it will. Unless you get the luxury build, which there's... They're still kind of two-tone, but it's a little dialed back. Luxury builds are definitely more like one color for the seats. I think the backside of them is still a different color. But uh, yeah, the two-tone is definitely toned down in a luxury build. Lexus makes high-quality cars that are better than any other car manufacturer out there. And then I won't read the rest of that. Yeah, they are, they are the, the most reliable, the best-built cars out there. Uh, in my opinion, and probably your guys' opinion too, since you're, oh, I got to pick this Batman one. John says, hey, Kirk, just your personal opinion. Why do you think the LS is sluggish in sales compared to last year? Uh, I think they incentivized it more last year, and they had a lot of leftover models uh, from the year before. That's my guess. Hmm. They incentivized it more, and they had a lot of leftover models. That's why the sales are sluggish. And there's probably a lot more things out there than that. But, yep, I got to uh, adjust my camera again because it's getting a little dark. And, and let's do this. Properties. Okay. 
Okay. Definitely overexposed, but whatever. You guys get the point. Uh, Zach says, "What's up, man? How's it going, Zach? Good to see you. It's been a it's been a while. Missed the last few live streams because I've been busy. Glad I could make it to this one. Yeah, I totally didn't plan a live stream it at all. I'm just like, I don't know what else to do right now. So I'm gonna live stream. Totally gonna live stream. Uh, hey guys, I I totally just dropped my controller. That's okay." What do you think of this lunchbox? Honest opinion. What do you think of this lunchbox? Tell me. Because that's my monthly giveaway. I want to know what you guys think. Because uh, I, I will be, I am doing monthly giveaways now for my, my Patreon supporters, which you guys can support for just a dollar a month. But uh, if I'm not, if I'm not, if I don't have, you know, enticing monthly giveaways. Maybe you guys won't support the channel that way. I don't. I don't know. I'm just. I just want to get your opinion. I haven't raced one race yet. Should I race? Should I do one race with the slowest car? Oh, okay, good. They're all the same car. Okay, a mile long burnout. I don't even know what car car this is. Oh my gosh! There's no weight over these back wheels. Just wants to, it just wants to do uh, cookies all day long. Uh, Zach says, sick, I'd buy one. Pretty rad. I love the F logo. Eric says, I'd buy it. Okay, okay, okay. All right, so it's definitely, wor it, it's definitely like attention getting. All right. It's pretty cool. I mean, I would, I would take my lunch to school on that or my lunch to work in that thing. I cannot see what I'm doing. Oh goodness! How does this stream? Is the stream pretty uh, smooth for you guys? I can't really see. I don't. I don't watch my own stream while I'm streaming. That's like Inception. I have to ask you guys, like, hey, how's the stream performing? Oh my gosh. This is not I'm not I'm not doing well. Not doing well here. Uh thought about taking the 350 off the back of my ES350 and placing it with the F logo so it'd be an ESF. You'd be the first ever, dude. First ever to have the first ESF. Eric says I'm probably the only one still in high school in the chat. Maybe. I don't know. I mean, there's only 12 people here, so chances are pretty good. Okay, good. The stream is looking good. That's what I want to know. That's what I want to hear. Also, guys, do you see any different with my face? Do you see anything different? Do you guys notice anything different? Do I look different? Do I look younger, maybe? As I race horribly? Stream is, is working pretty good. Good. Oh my gosh. My racing is not working pretty good, though. I feel like a complete noob. Look at this. Don't call it a comeback, though, guys. Don't call it a comeback yet. See that you see that pro level move right there where I I used him to enhance my turning capability. Eric says I shaved. Nailed it. I shaved my face. I haven't shaved my face in like four years. No joke. I think the last time I was clean shaven like this was for my wedding. Yup. Chat's dying, guys. Come on, keep it, keep it up. What's going on? Are you just, are you just mesmerized by my terrible racing? Is that what's going on? 
what but I'm probably talking a lot less because I'm trying to I'm trying hard to pass some cars here which may or may not happen I passed a couple there. No, nope, don't think I'm gonna get that guy. Ugh, fifth place. Your Miss Toyota says my stream keeps freezing. That's unfortunate. Make sure you're uh, connected to Wi-Fi. I don't know what to tell you. <sighs> okay, okay, guys. What are you guys up to? What's new? We are watching your possible comeback. Yeah, it wasn't it wasn't as uh, heroic as I was hoping it would be, but it's fairly mediocre. There should be a Forza meet if that's possible. That would be pretty next level. I feel like I would have to get the next Forza game though, Forza 4. And none of us would have Lexus vehicles because there's no Toyotas or Lexus in that game. It's kind of lame. Super lame. Yep, 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 yep. Man, the questions, when I'm like, hey guys, you know, ask some questions. They came on like 30 at once. And there hasn't been a question since. So I see how it is, guys. I see how it is. You get your question answered and you just leave the stream. That's what's going on. That's fine. That's fine. Holy cow. Here, I need to go to this. This one right here. Uh, uh Poddle Snicka, uh, what was your partner taken aback when you shaved my wife, you mean? Uh yards, kind of. Right. I mean she doesn't care one way or the other. Um at work it was like a pretty big deal. People were like, Hey my gosh, baby Kirk's here, blah blah blah. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna look at you like ten times in a row, weirdly. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, it was a big it was a big deal at work for the first like half hour, and that was about it. My wife was like, "Oh, you shaved." That's it. <laughs> you have arrived at your destination. So yeah, pick, I only have one car to pick from, which is a Batman car. Guys, what do you what are you up to? What do you guys what do you guys do for work? I don't know. I know Alex and Zach have been here before for the stream. Um, what do what do you guys do for work? I know kind of where where ish you live at. a weak turn by the, the computer it's so funny in computer games like there's some turns like the computer just dominates and there are some some parts of the track they just are terrible at I know it's like that with most most games but this is funny Eric says I'm a host at a restaurant that's cool first job congrats man make that money dude save up save up your money don't spend it all Save it up. Don't spend your money. I spent a lot of money as a kid. Mainly in college I spent a lot of money, which is stupid, but... Huh. You live and you learn, right? Uh... 
host at a restaurant which restaurant is it like a local restaurant usually hosts are at like a um kind of a chain not all the time but um zach i saw a nice lexus gs430 at an auction last week the v8 is so smooth in that car wish they still made a gs with an ls engine yeah nope that's a thing of the past uh they you know it's too bad gs the gs is a sore subject so do you know when the lc convertible is coming out uh spring it's coming out in spring of 2020 Mm-hmm. the lc convertible will be out in spring it's pretty darn exciting I hope we get one. Hopefully I can show you, like, share pictures and stuff with you guys. That'd be pretty darn awesome. Maybe even review it. Oh. That's just wishful thinking right there. Wishful thinking. Oh, how cool would that be? Oh. Oh, yeah, I'm reviewing the first Lexus convertible in a long time. And by the way, it has a big V8 and sounds amazing. And... Oh, mm. which by the way I, I'm working on reviewing reviewing cars again guys things have just been busy at the dealership uh, so but maybe hopefully maybe soon hopefully maybe soon maybe the next month or two I, I is probably the earliest I'll be able to uh, start reviewing cars again Oh my gosh, I just spun out. Uh, let's see here. It's called La Hacienda de los Barrios. It's your best friend's Mexican restaurant. It's like a nicer Mexican. Cool, man. Let's let's Google it real quick. Let's see if I can pull it up. Uh, uh, La Hacienda de los barrios uh you said san antonio right oh my gosh let's look at this oh mm. it's like an interior huge ceilings holy cow holy smokes what do you have a chicken sandwich chicken sandwich with peppers and what pickles that doesn't look Mexican. That looks like a mashup between American and Mexican. That's crazy. Hopefully I'm looking at the right restaurant. I could totally be looking at the lo the wrong one, but that looks pretty amazing right there. I love guacamole. You guys have a little bar up there. Got baseball on. What is this? It's the lamb chops? Is that what that is? Lamb chops at a Mexican restaurant? That's pretty cool. Some puffy tacos, beans and rice. Uh, this looks like a quesadilla or something. Fajitas back here, maybe. This kid, this kid is getting down. And this mom is like, mm, give me that margarita, son. This looks like a kid's hand with the Dos Equis, I'm not going to lie. Ooh, another fajita. Is that fried ice cream? I love fried ice cream. Empty margaritas. Hopefully Eric didn't drink those margaritas. He's he's uh, in high school. Hopefully he didn't drink those. Oh my gosh, I want Mexican food so bad right now. More margaritas, fries. Oh my gosh. Oh, that looks like churrasco, which is similar. That my my, my wife's Cuban, so churrasco is like a thin. Then steak, that looks like a Bloody Mary margarita sort of thing. Oh my gosh, I'm probably making everyone in the in the stream super hungry. I'm sorry guys for making you hungry, that's just the way it is. Oh, what is this? Is that Trace Leches? I don't even know, what is, I don't even know, what is that? What is that? That's definitely not flan, that's like a cake. 
Chicken Sandwich is another one of the biz restaurant, La Hacienda, Scenic Loop. It's a mix of Mexican American food. There are four of them. Crazy. It's crazy, crazy, crazy. Zach says, can't wait, man. Your channel will grow even faster when you review cars. It will. It will. You know, and that's one of the things is like when I, 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 you know, I did my little pitch to my dealership. I'm like, hey, you know, I'm not doing this for me. Like this is to bring a lot of eyes and ears and and people to the dealership as well. So it's a it's a win win situation, you know. And one day these live streams will be so big you won't be able to answer all the questions. It's possible. Uh, it's definitely possible. I feel like at uh, times in the past I've had like 20, 30 people in my live stream and I can't keep up. Cannot keep up with the questions. You guys would love to see a review of the 2020 RX. Yeah, I would love to see me review it as well. It'd be a lot of fun. A lot of fun. I mean, it wouldn't be, I don't even, like, there's just so many things, so many ways I could go with it. Um, yeah, I'd probably just keep it a fairly simple review, talking about mainly the changes, because um, that's really what people would want to see is like, oh, what's different about the car? So, what is the release date of the Cool Cats in the house? What's up, Cool Cat? Release date? I don't have an exact date. It's going to be different per dealership because the cars can't magically land at the each dealership at the same day. It's not like a it's not like a technology release where it's like, oh, you know, it or or a movie release where it's like, oh, it's going to be July 11th at 9 p.m. No, it doesn't. <laughs> cars are a little bit heavier and harder to transport than that. So it's uh, whenever your dealership gets them. That's about it. <laughs> it should be September. Sometime in September. What is it? Uh, chicken. Yep. That's it. I caught up to you guys. Guys, come on. I shouldn't be. Okay. A puddle snicker. Uh, could you do a few simple videos like the quirks and features of the Lexus lineup? Probably. I mean, that would be kind of fun. Um, yeah, I could do something like that. I mean, there's plenty of quirks. Oh my gosh. I feel like with the quirks though, if I'm going to do quirks, I got to take videos inside the cars, which I can't, I mean, I could do, but I don't, it's, it's, uh, yeah, I don't want to do it on company time sort of thing. Um, Zach's got to go to bed. I'll be watching for the next live stream. Okay, see you, man. Have a good, sweet dreams. Sweet dreams. Hopefully you dream about, you know, LFAs. I've dreamt about LFAs before. It was pretty amazing. Super amazing. Oof. Which, by the way, Jer Jeremy Clarkson did an interview recently, and the LFA is still the best car he's ever driven. Isn't that nuts? Key Kim. Key Kim says, hey, I watched your LX470 review video. It was pretty good. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you for watching. Um, that was one of my earlier video reviews, and I love the LX. I love Lexus, and I love you that you're here and, you know, being a part of the community. Thank you so much. Key Kim is calling you out already, bro. He's calling Zach out. Just gets to the stream, and he's calling people, or she, I don't know. It could be a girl. Anyway, he or she's calling you out. That's what's up. That's savage right there. In the stream for five minutes and calling people out already. Hey, gotta do what you gotta do. Oh wait, I'm still in I'm still in a race and I'm in first place, so I got I gotta focus here. Okay, cool cat. Is a GX going to have CarPlay and Android Auto? Negative. GX is getting a new red interior. Uh, it's getting Rioja red interior, which is a darker red. It's not super dark like Cabernet and the LX, but uh, it's not as bright as the circuit red and the, the ES and the new RX. That's right, first place, yo. Yep, GX is really just getting Safety System Plus is getting a new front end, new headlights, it's getting a new interior option. 
it's getting well the the body side molding strip things are getting removed uh it's getting that off-road package that we've never seen before that's about it that's about alex knows alex is like dude gx is not getting android auto nope nope could they do it could they do it if they really wanted to yes but would it cost them money yes it would but they don't care they're like hey we'll give you the same old gx we'll change a couple things on it give you a new interior make triple beam standard seduce you with the triple beam headlights and uh you'll forget all about apple carplay at that but we'll, we'll hypnotize you with the triple beams and the new grill and you'll have to have that new gx life You know, what they don't realize is that so many people now, I'd say people like 50 years old and younger, they want, they, they will specifically buy one model over the other because it has Apple CarPlay. Or they'll buy one brand over the other because it has Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. Well, luckily Lexus is starting to catch on to this and we're finally seeing it in our vehicles, but um, it's a little late. I mean, it's not just Lexus, it's the whole Toyota company. They're like, no, we don't want to share our information with other, other these, these third-party companies. But they can literally stop research and development on all of their self-made navigation save millions and millions of dollars in research and development make all of their cars apple carplay and android auto uh compatible there you go there you go Is Mark Levinson worth getting in the new ES 100,000%? But it depends on, on who you are. If you like writing in silence, if you rarely turn the music up loud, then it's not worth getting. If you enjoy listening to music, uh, if you're an audiophile, if you listen, like listening to high quality sound at a high, high volume, you got to have the Mark Levinson. Have to, have to, have to. Oof. I feel like I'm getting hungry again. It's 8.45. Yep, yep, yep. Guys, feel free. Um, I mean, I, I, I am giving a little bit of time here to spin with you guys it's a lot of fun but if you have a question now there's not that many people in the stream but if you want to have a question answered quickly you can always donate it's like a dollar or something i think it's an option at the bottom of the live chat there's a little dollar sign or something just show your support you can do it there if you want to give me a dollar there that's fine i can answer a long question or something i can i can really put a lot of time into it or you can just go to the patreon page donate a dollar per month and make yourself eligible for this F inspired lunchbox, which is pretty, pretty legit. But uh, I'm going to get up and walk around a little bit and maybe get something to snack on and I will be back.
All right, I'm back, guys. <laughs> Ian, Ian's like, oh, I'm I'm Eric's friend. Oh, and by the way, you shared my restaurant. Yeah, well, of course, man. It looks like you have some delicious food. If I'm ever in San Antonio, I will stop by and have a nice drink and a nice meal. That sounds awesome. Best industry, Mark Levinson. Best in the industry, Mark Levinson. It's it's hard to argue that. I mean, I've listened to quite a few. Uh, what is it? The Bang & Olufsen or whatever. And the Volvos is pretty good as well. So, yeah. How about this? I do this race. I feel like I need to do this race for you guys. Good. Just making sure to turn my mic back on. Otherwise, it would just be a... I don't know, a silent talking head. Gosh, all the computer can start out. I'm going to restart this race. This is the thing. The computer can start perfectly on an uphill in a rear wheel drive vehicle with zero traction control. And here I am just like spinning all over the place. Not fair, like I'm even rolling backwards. Like look how, okay. That was, that was a better start that time. Still the computer just destroyed me, but not quite as much. Oh my gosh, I looked away. Gotta restart the event. I looked away because a pothole stinker said one thing and I totally crashed my car. What's my favorite car in the game? I don't know, I don't really play this game that much. Uh, I really like the, the Mazda Miatas because it's the cars I used to have. I used to have a 91 MX-5 Miata and I love that car. So it's kind of nostalgic to me. I do like the Lexus vehicles in here. I do not like the LFA that much in this this game. Um, I like the ISF in this game quite a bit. Uh, okay, okay. Lunatic is in the house. Oh my gosh, I was about ready to stop streaming and Lunatic comes in here. Holy cow. Gotta stream at least for five more minutes now the lunatic is in the house. Shoot, sure, that's where I crashed last time, almost crashed again. Oh my gosh, I keep looking at the chat, and every time I do, that's right, it's like looking at your phone while you're driving, it's just as dangerous, it's a bad idea to do when you're going 100 miles an hour in a video game, it's a much worse idea to do when you're going 100 miles an hour in real life. Who's that kid in Kirk's seat? Yeah man, this is young Kirk, don't you know, don't you know? You don't know who I am? Young Kirk's in the house tonight.
Oh, that first place pass right there. Did you guys see that first place pass? Oh, man. Uh-oh. Almost spun out there. Think tensions are pretty high right now. My first race I got fifth fifth place. My first my second race I got first place. So a lot a lot is riding on this third and final race here. And will I be able to hold this first place position in these twisties? The computer's pretty good at these turns. Oh, 88% done. Computer's pushing. I think I got this one, guys. Got this one in the bag. Hopefully it's enough to get me first place over on the tourney with the cheapest car I could buy for the tournament. Oh yeah, that's that's another first place right there. Alex says hello, lunatic. Oh no. Hopefully they're not feeding off each other. I was hoping to be done with this stream and like by nine o'clock. Oh yeah. Do you see that? I barely got first place overall. Barely two points from Captain Trep for the Maserati. Eric, Eric was cheering. Eric's still in the chat. Eric and his friend Ian. Ooh, Firebird Trans Am. That's like the one. Isn't that, that the one like in Joe Dirt? Isn't there a Trans Am in Joe Dirt? Let's look it up real quick. Joe Dirt car. Oh, no, that's a Dodge Daytona. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. That's so funny. That is hilarious. You like that first place, guys? You like that? Six people in the chat. Holy smokes, guys. If you if you want to uh, ask me some questions, feel free. I mean, racing's, racing is not quite as fun than uh, talking to people. What? There's another race in this championship? Oh, my gosh. I thought I was done. I thought there was only three races in this championship. Holy smokes. Guys, I say holy smokes a lot. I apologize. Uh, Lunatic says, sorry so late. It's my granddaughter's birthday. Lunatic, I thought you were like 20 or something. I think Kid Rock drove the Pontiac. Kid Rock. Maybe it was Kid Rock. Kid Rock uh, Pontiac. Yeah, but that's a, that's like a that's like a Bonneville or something. This thing's pretty baller right here. Look at this. They don't make cars like this anymore, guys. They don't make cars like that anymore. No siree. <clears throat> hey, Eric. Eric, we don't we don't want to be like, you know, you know, like a a political party here or something like that where it's like, "Hey, we're we're super woke and anyone who's doesn't align with our political social agenda they can go kill themselves no no we're car fans essentially we're car fans i like mercedes there's nothing wrong with mercedes are they as reliable as lexus no no are they uh as dependable as lexus no are they overpriced yes they are um are they faster than lexus most times they are 
Uh, I mean, there's pros and cons. The pros and cons. So I have nothing wrong. I have nothing against Mercedes. It's just not my favorite car brand. And everyone has the right to their own opinion. Lunatic Hacienda and the Furious movies? Heck yeah, I do. I've only seen like four or five of them. There's like 20 of them. I can't keep up. Your room. It's driving me nuts. Yep. I have a couple friends, Ian, that, that were both... I grew up with a couple Ians. There were two of them in a small town. And I gave them both a ton of shit all the time. I still I still get... I say Los Barrios are, is... That's crazy. It's crazy. Small world. Look. This small Lexus YouTube channel in Nebraska is bringing together people that live in San Antonio. Who would have thought? Who would have thunk? Who would have thunk? I'm going to go grab a drink real quick. ambient lighting nothing wrong with that <laughs> Eric says I'm working tomorrow swing by Walter Jenkins uh, why do I still Walter thanks for joining by the way Walter's first input is like dude what are you doing with, with Forza Horizon 3 the answer Walter is that Forza Horizon 4 doesn't have Lexus vehicles in it so my channel being Lexus based, I got to have, got to have a uh, Forza Horizon 3 so I can play some uh, uh, Lexus vehicles. By the way, nobody raps about Lexus but Nicki Minaj. Um, but, but Nicki Minaj rapped about Mercedes. Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah, like a ton of people rap about Mercedes. Doesn't make it an amazing brand. Rappers are like some of the least credible people in the world. You do realize that. I would not want some tattooed, cracked out, smoked out rapper rapping about my cars. Kind of brings down their classiness, no? Doesn't it? Doesn't it? You know, and the, the joke, the joke is, well, you know, the, the, it's essentially free advertising for Mercedes unless they already pay that rapper off to do that, which I, I wouldn't be surprised if that happens. Um, but that happened with like Cristal or Cristal. All the rappers were rapping about Cristal in the, like the early 2000s, late 90s. It was like, it's like the number one, I think it's the champagne in the world, like their sales were going crazy but they didn't want to be associated with these gangster rappers and all the rappers boycotted them and that's why Cristal is no longer rapped about it's not like the brand went it's probably joking probably joking Walter no I love it yeah I grew up I grew up on rap music I don't listen to it hardly at all anymore uh, that, that's fine this is the way it is but I'll listen to some rap music from time to time Twenty one. I don't know what Twenty One Savage is. I don't know who that is. Uh, What's the weather in Omaha like? Well, it is currently seventy nine degrees at nine o'clock at night, and it feels like eighty one. Uh, tomorrow we have a 40% chance of thunderstorms. It's 
same uh, and then it'll be 82 84 87 85 etc so we're looking at mid 80s right now this time of year but it can get to like a hundred and hundred degrees this time of year so Seventy-nine. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what you, you guys are. You, you guys are talking craziness. I don't know what's going on. Seventy-nine. Oh yeah, seventy-nine degrees. Yeah, that's what it is here. Duh. Uh, it's crazy hot down here. That's, yeah. That's that's San Antonio, dude. San Antonio. Uh, let's see here 91 right now it's I mean what it's a little bit hotter there 91 uh, it's still pretty warm um, I lived in Naples Florida which is pretty pretty damn warm humidity was higher in Naples it was like 60 to 80 uh, percent yeah I don't I don't miss that but I do not particularly enjoy winter this time uh, when when winter comes around all right I think I have one more race to finish and I'll probably done be done with this stream Oh my gosh. Totally ran off the road. You have arrived at your destination. I like winter weather. I do. In a lot of ways, I do like winter weather. Um, <clears throat> but last winter was pretty brutal here in Nebraska. Like we had record snowfalls in February. Uh, the roads just are terrible. Um, and then as, I mean, it's not the worst thing. And it, and it gives us something to do in the winter time. So here, uh, at our dealership, when it snows, let's say we have 200 cars at the dealership, we literally spend all day clearing off the cars and rearranging the lot so snow, snow plows can plow the lot. It takes all day. So at least it gives us something to do. Um, but we're out there and like, we're looking like, you know, Eskimos or something. It's, yep. Yep, yep, yep. I guess it, it it builds character. It's it's something that's a little bit different. I mean, no one's going to be coming in during a, a recent snowstorm to look at new vehicles. So we might as well clear them off, right? So the day afterwards when people do, we have vehicles ready to look at and to drive. So... Yeah, hilarious. Yep. It is pretty funny that we have to clean up the cars uh, in like zero degree weather with a foot of snow on the cars. But hey, like I said, it's not that bad. It's kind of fun. It's good memories. And if, if I'm in second place at the start of the second lap uh, my chances to win this one are pretty darn good
The geese still by the link again? It's a good question. You know, I saw some geese today flying by the dealership. I would expect the geese are still at the lake. Uh, I don't know where else they would go. I mean, they could fly north. They might even fly north this time of year. I doubt it, though. Most of the geese here have... I just ran into a stack of logs. What in the world? I was owning everybody and I ran into a stack of logs that was conveniently right off the side of the road. Yeah, there's there's geese around, those silly geese. Yeah, they're out there. They're, they are out there, pooping all over the streets. Eric says, the only thing we got down here is hail, which sucks for dealerships. Yeah, we get hail here too, brother. Our Mercedes dealership was wrecked earlier this re this year by hail. Destroyed their entire dealership. Well, not, not necessarily dealership, but all their inventory was wrecked. Oh, I ran into the stack of logs again. Oh my gosh. That is like a concrete barrier. It doesn't even move. Okay, at least we got second place, but... Oh my gosh. I cannot believe that stack of logs. Makes me look like a chump. Oh, I'm so pissed off. <coughs> Do you have a specific preference of what you want your car colors to be? No, I don't care. Um, black is a pain in the ass, I'll just say that. <coughs> Darker colors are a little bit more difficult in general. I usually... Uh, I mean, it really depends on the car, too. Like, if, I want, if I'm getting a Lamborghini, I prefer it to be yellow. If I'm getting a Ferrari, I prefer it to be red. I'm getting a Lexus. I don't know, white or silver, tonic silver maybe, I don't know. Any more news on vehicles slated to pop up at the Tokyo Motor Show in October? Nope, I haven't heard anything. I hope they unveil quite a bit. We know we're going to get that new fully electric vehicle that uh, is totally unrelated to their current lineup. So I will talk a lot about that vehicle. I'll probably make like two or three videos on it. Uh, pretty excited. And if they unveil more stuff at the Tokyo Auto Show, I will cover it too. Make more videos on that. Eric's like, Ian, I didn't know you are still here. You don't strike me as a car guy. <laughs> well, you just said he's a Mercedes guy, so he's obviously a car guy. And maybe I'm just that entertaining. I'm pretty, I'm a 30-year-old dude playing, playing PC games. There's nothing exciting about that, I promise you. Makeup Girl 21. Hello. What is going on? Eric, Eric, there's nothing wrong with the black car. It's just more maintenance. like, And it shows a lot more everything. Of course, dirt, but like you have paint swirls that get into it, and you got to buff it a lot more often. Black is just very, very, very high maintenance on a car. Oh, sweet. Sweet. Makeup Girl is trolling our stream right now. I probably I probably have I probably can I kick her out of the stream? Report, yes. Let's see here. Let's see here. Pornography or sexually explicit material. Report. Done. 
<laughs> oh my god, that was so obnoxious. Oh my gosh. Eric wants a black car. I love Eric and I love cars. Just keep it to myself. I got you. He's a Mercedes guy because his bougie butt drive drives one. What does he drive? Like a C class or something? Or or uh Oh gosh, I can't even think of there's just so many freaking Mercedes models I'm trying to think. CLA, that's what I was trying to think of. Or does he drive like a GLA? Yeah, family friendly channel. Makeup girl had to go out. We kicked her out. I was a bouncer in that situation. I kicked her off the stream. Mixed scrambled series, Horizon Championship. Three events, 4.6 miles. Here comes an army of American V8s with some reinforcements from our Australian hosts. It's the Modern Muscle Championship. Modern Muscle Championship. Of course I don't have any vehicles and I spent all my money on that one car. Hey guys, uh, I have five likes on the channel. There are 11 people watching. There should be 11, at least 11 likes. At least, I mean, there's 128 people that have popped in and out of here. So I should have at least 100, like 50 likes out of those 100 people. So don't forget to like, just like, like the video. So why not? Gosh, a lot of Cadillacs. Uh, we got the CTSV, we got ATSV, which is downloadable content. We have a CTSV. Which looks pretty baller because we got the sedan and then the coupe do i like wagons hell yeah i love wagons i love wagons you just don't have like any in america you do have a i call the c-class so you have a c300 uh, i wish i had a g-wagon well who who doesn't wish they had a g-wagon actually i don't care for g-wagons i mean they look cool but you get on the inside it's like from the 1985 so Excuse me. This is cool. Chevy Super Sport. ZR1. Oh, I love this. I'm, I'll probably pick the O2 Z06. That's that's one of my favorite cars. Not really, but I like them a lot. It's probably my favorite Camaro. Shelby GT 350R, Ford Falcon. Don't get that in America. Shelby GT 500, HSV GTS. That looks like a Pontiac G8. That's probably what it is, just in a different country. I'm gonna go with this guy right here. Eric says, I wish I had a C-Class. Love my Subaru, though. Yeah. Ooh, let's pick some cool paint for this car. Ah. Rusty's McQueen. You gotta go with the American flag, right? Police car. Mine McQueen again. American flag one was pretty baller. Nothing, nothing says America like a like a Corvette. I've, I've only completed 15 of 63 championships in this game. That's it. I wonder if um, Walter Jenkins in, was in here, is still in here, because he was like, why do you still have Forza Horizon 3 instead of 4? And then he was talking all this stuff about rapping. Uh, what's my dream car? Um, 
You know, it's funny because... Okay, so I'd probably take a... Like a 2016 or newer six-speed Mazda Miata. Uh, I'd love to have that. I know it's not like super crazy or expensive or anything, but... Um, I had a 91 Miata, which a lot of you guys probably know, and I love that car. I miss it. So much fun. And I love that car. Just love that car. I have, I have maybe driven one other car where I, or two other cars. I'll say two other cars where I feel like the, uh, the gearbox was close to. Not necessarily better, but it was close to. And that was like a... A Subaru BRZ, which is a uh, Toyota as well. Um, and I drove a uh, Mazda RX-8 and I love that gearbox. Uh, that six speed in that car was amazing. Um, so I would like to have another Miata. They're just, it's not like they're fast. I know they're slow, but the it's just a lot of fun. And uh, what else would I like to have as a dream car? Well, it's not really a car, but I'd love to have another motorcycle. I love motorcycles. You know, maybe that could be a future channel of mine or something. Or I could just, I could cover it on this channel too. Um, but love motorcycles so much. I had a motorcycle for just a brief amount of time in Florida. What? That was the shortest race ever. Did you guys see how short that race was? Was it a minute? It was a minute long race? 2020 A45 AMG hot hatch. Going to be crazy. Yeah, I think I saw that. I think I saw a picture of it. Um, is it coming to America? Maybe. I've seen the, gosh, what is it called? The CLA 45 AMG. I've seen that. Uh, we had one at our dealership, and then I wanted to drive it and review it, but it got, uh, it got bought by the time I got around to it. So Good. When I said, "Hey guys, like the like the video," I got three more likes. That's that's quite a that's like a sixty percent increase in likes. So thank you. <laughs> oh man. Okay, I'm not gonna drive all the way up to this race. I'm just going to teleport there. How about that? How do I feel about Tesla cars? I love them. I like Tesla quite a bit. They're not perfect by any means. They have their issues. Uh, they're not even profitable, which makes me lyrious uh, about owning one currently. Uh, and I wouldn't own one currently. I, I don't currently have the, the funds to own one. But even if I did at this point in time, I'd still be like, uh, well, is the company going to be around in five years in case I need to get parts or, you know, that sort of thing? Um, so, yeah, I think Tesla is forcing the entire automotive industry to be better. Um, so that's what I feel about Tesla. I think electric cars are incredible. I think it's going to be a slow adoption over the next, I don't know, 20, 30 years to go fully electric for most vehicles. Not all vehicles. I don't know if we'll ever see full, fully electric. Uh, and if you think about it, like, it's only a good thing for gas prices, too, because um, if, if demand goes down, the prices will go down, too. So, yeah. I welcome electric cars as much as possible um, I know there's there's a ton more to it than just that but uh, yeah 
I am I am I'm on board for electric cars. And I think Tesla has proven that people want them. Uh, people are willing to shell out tons of money for them. And yeah, I think yeah, that's a good place to just leave it. Ian, Ian, you have come so far with cars. I remember when you thought my Subaru was called a Suburban. I mean, it's, it's um, similar-ish in spelling. He's, call, he's thrown you under the bus on a live stream. That's pretty savage. There's only seven people watching. Seven people watching. He's throwing you under the bus. That's fairly petty and a little bit savage. What's my take on electric bikes? I think electric bikes make a ton of sense. They just, they're so expensive right now. So are electric cars, right? But electric bikes are very, very, very expensive. And, ugh. I think even more so with cars, like, uh, motorcycles are known for their amazing sound. Whether it's a V-twin on a Harley or something like that. Or uh, an inline four, a screaming inline four from, like, a Honda CBR1000RR. Um... Then you have your triples too, which sound great, and your thumpers, which are awesome. So, I mean, motorcycles, it's like a part of their identity is to have an amazing sound. Cars, it's, you know, hit or miss. Some cars perform great, but they sound shitty. And then you have some cars that sound great and then perform, you know. So, Harley Livewire suggested MSRP 27K. I know, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. It's probably the fast one of the fastest Harley's ever made. What I think of Lexus navigation systems, uh, I don't like them that much. I'll just leave it there. But it's not just Lexus. It's any automotive. It's any automaker's navigation system. It's not just Lexus. I have a problem with all of them. Um, we are so akin to using our phone to get anywhere. I can pull up anything in a matter of seconds, and it's up to date. I never have to update it. It's accurate. It's fast. I can see all the places around it. Um, show me multiple routes. In any car, it's not just Lexus. If you try to use your navigation system, it's slow. It's clunky. It gets outdated. Low resolution. Uh, it's just not good. Um, I know the Audis and the Volkswagens have the Google Maps installed. I haven't played with that much. I've been in the new Audi A8 that has it. I liked it, I guess, for that feature. I don't know if I like the implementation of it that much in terms of behind the on the instrument cluster. I guess it's cool. Uh, there's just too many to me. To me, there's too many screens in the uh, the Audi. Too many places to look around. There's like three different screens. Or fair excuse, I'm dyslex dyslexic, so that's why I thought the Subaru was called a Suburban. Fair enough. Tell you what, I am god-awful with this Corvette. Terrible. Losing to Jeff Gordon. I prefer the touchpad over the mouse. I don't like the mouse. Yep. But the, to each his own. But I like the touchpad way better. Like, it's not even, to me, it's not even a contest. Goodness, I need to stop this stream. It's 9.30. I'll finish this race and stop the stream. It has gone on far too long. Oh, look, I'm in Byron Bay. Uh, <laughs> there's no mountain that looks like that in the background of Byron Bay, but the town looks actually pretty similar. Yeah, the town is actually pretty dang similar to this, so... 
I was on Byron Bay in 2016 for my cousin's wedding. It was an amazing, amazing, amazing time. I saw rainbows and dolphins and whales in Byron Bay as well as tons of hippies, surfers, beautiful people, not so beautiful people. I did an after party. Music wasn't that hot there. People were jumping in the pool with their clothes on. Yeah, I threw tons of shrimps on the barbie. Yep. No one says that in Australia anyways. The only way they know that is from, from Dumb and Dumber. No one else. No one else says it in Australia. It's quite funny. It's not something they say. Day, mate. They do say good day, mate. How you going? crazy how fast you start well at least for me anyways everyone's different but how fast I I learned to speak like an Australian when down there it's like that anywhere you you can learn well, at least at least for me I can learn really quickly how to speak um, the the local dialect or the local draw so hey, that's it no more fans we're done kidding keep them coming We'll keep expanding. Almost last place. Yeah, no, I'm not I'm not good with that car. Things are starting to get very crowded as is. You should see those fans lining up for the loot. It's it's like the in this game, because this game is like half off road, rear wheel drive cars are a complete nightmare. Absolute complete nightmare. Old Subaru Outback commercial with Paul Hogan. Yeah, that's the good old days. So when, when I mean, growing up, I thought Subaru was a uh, was an Australian brand, and it's it's not. It's a Japanese brand. So, okay, guys, I'll see you guys later. I will have a video up probably tomorrow night talking about the sales market for Lexus. Um, don't forget to support the page on patreon so you can win this awesome lunchbox that's at the, the monthly giveaway there are three people eligible for the monthly giveaway last month currently there are still three the same three people who are going to win this lunchbox unless someone else has something to say about it so go ahead and visit my my patreon page uh, shoot let me um get a link real quick so you guys can check it out boom that's about it, guys. Uh, I'll see you guys later. Definitely check out my video tomorrow, and I'll see you next time. Peace out.